Hi guys, my name is Will Orock, and I am a bar teacher here in Santa Clara. And today I'm gonna to give you guys just a couple little things that I do in my bar classes that you can do at home if you have elastic bands. It doesn't matter the size of the elastic band you have necessarily, it just depends on how you use it and how much tension you wanna have. Yes, the thicker the band, obviously the more tension it's gonna be, but you can also ease up on that tension on a thicker band and therefore your pull or your tension won't be as tight. All right, so let's get into it. The first one I like to do is for my shoulders. This is great, it gets tiring, but it's so much fun and you'll feel it after. So what I do is I pull this band, I keep my arms as straight as possible. Turn to the side and you can see it like this. See, I'm not back like this yet. I will be going that way. But what I do is I go like this and I pull all the way up and all the way forward and all the way up. I do not let my band get loose like that. I keep the tension in it all the time. So, we go eight times, four more, three, two, one. From here I go halfway back, and eight, seven, six, five, four. Keeping those arms straight, keeping those shoulder blades touching together, two, one. From here, this is the pulse, I go back, eight, seven, six, five. Trying to continuously touch those shoulder blades together, four, three, Two, one. Now we do our shift. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And our last is hold that position. So here I want you to squeeze those shoulder blades together. Keep those arms straight and hold. I'm gonna show you from the back side here. As you can see my shoulder blades are together. I'm not like this. I'm keeping together, four more. And four, three, two, one. And gently relax, oh yeah. Should feel a little bit of tension there. So for our compound, I like to do this. Throw this over my shoulder here like a purse or like a bag. And it does not matter which shoulder you start with. From here, I pull down. And then from here, I do a tricep extension. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. I let go and then I change to the opposite side. In this case, I'll be using my left side, so I pull down my right side and I go up with my left. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And there you go. So that's the first exercise. It's great for the shoulders. Got a little bit of triceps in there and should be, you know, you should be feeling it a little bit. All right, let's go to the next one. Now my band is a little bit shorter, but that's okay. There's a couple things you can do to make it go higher if you need to, but let's just try it for right now. So I'm gonna step on it. Now, if I wanna pull all the way up here without breaking my band, it's gonna be a little bit difficult. So what I can do is I can keep my legs straight in front of me, and then I can reach higher. This also will help you with the balance, so it's kind of a cool little trick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just pull it up like a row here, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Squeezing those abs to keep balance. Two, and one, and halfway down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And all the way up and pulse. 10, nine. Pulses are soft and slow and short range. Four more, three, two, one. From here, we're gonna do our shift. We're gonna go out, in, out, in, out, in. Try to keep those elbows up. And four, three, two, one, and hold for 10. While you're holding, make sure to squeeze those abs. Keep your standing leg straight as and hard as a rock and hold. Four more, three, two, one, and gently release. Woo! It doesn't matter which leg you use because we're not focusing on the leg, we're focusing on the arms here. This got definitely my deltoids, my shoulder, also helped me use my abs a little bit more, so that's a fun exercise. What I like to do is instead of doing always a compound exercise, I'll throw in a little bit of cardio, like for example, 
In, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. And you can do that for 10 seconds. You can put a timer, you can count it yourself, whichever is easiest for you. All right, next elastic band, one that I think is just absolutely fun, it can be a killer, is your bicep curls. Now, I feel it to be more effective with an elastic band than weights because in most bar classes, you're not gonna go higher than a five pound weight and holding a five pound weight like this is quite easy. So I like to do this. I hold it here. Again, because this is band is short, I'm gonna bend my leg. I changed legs, so I'm gonna be giving my right leg a break and now staying on the left. And then from here, I just go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. There you go. Four more, three, two, one, halfway down. 10, nine, eight, seven. Keep going, you can go all the way down and all the way up with elastic bands because these resistance bands actually don't make your joints work at all. That's the nice thing about it. Three, two, one, pulse, and 10, nine, eight. Remember, short, soft, and slow. Three, two, one. From here, we're gonna go into our shift, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold that bicep curl for 10 seconds. You can do longer, you can do shorter, but the normal range is anywhere between eight and 10. And three, two, one. You should start to feel that right here in the biceps. That's a great one to do when you don't have weights or if you have these elastic bands that have been laying around your house and you're not sure what to do with them. Here you go, now you have a couple things to do. All right, let's move on to the lower portion of our body, our legs, our glutes, all that fun stuff. So I'm gonna put this just slightly above my knees here and it looks like this, okay? Now this is a great one to use for your glute. So we're gonna go like this, and you're gonna slightly bend down here. Good job, you're gonna pull that in, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna move slow and short steps to the side. The idea is to keep this band with tension, and what you're gonna start to feel is right here in the sides of the glute, you're gonna start to feel a nice pull. And I tap, and I go side to side like this. My living room is not that big, so you could do this a few dozen times. What you can do is you can go into your patio, or if you can have access to a park or something in your complex or around your house, go do that. And you don't have to go back and forth, you can just go one way all the way down and then come back. This is a great one for the glutes, okay? Another one is just doing a basic squat, but in second position. Us dancers, when we step this wide, past or wider than our shoulders, we call this second. And what you do is you do this and you hold and you come up. And you hold and you come up. And when you do that, you squeeze and you hold and come up. Boom. That extra tension is gonna give you a little bit different of a workout than just a regular old squat, okay? You can do that again, eight times, halfway up. 10, nine, eight, seven. Keeping my tummy nice and tight, keeping those Knees going out towards the toes, not in. Three, two, one. And the pulse is nice and slow, nice and slow. Yeah, in short range as well. This also <laughs> makes you sit. And you'll start to feel that burn just a little bit more. It's great. Three, two, one. From here, I can now do my shift. So what I'll do is I'll lift my heels off the ground, keeping it in second position 10 times. And you wanna also do this with control. Keep those abs nice and tight. Nice posture. Three, two, one. Now you have an option. You can hold this position or hold it with the heels up. Just depends on the difficulty that you would like to have or how much you really wanna push yourself. All right. And again, eight to 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, this one's great. I love it. It really gives me a workout and Personally, as a dancer, I really need to keep my glutes and my legs tight because that's what I do most of the dancing with, right? 
All right, we're gonna slide this down, so I'm gonna drop it down here to my ankle. And this is also a fun little glute one. This also will serve you for your knees and your back. So this is a great uh, little exercise. What I do is I'm gonna come forward here and I'm just gonna go up uh, 20 times. This would be our compound. So we go right here. 20 times on each side. So you can see. Yep. Step forward. So wall. Here we go. Great. 20 times. And then the last one, I step on the elastic band with the opposite foot. So in this case, I'm stepping with my right foot and I pick up. Now, so do this 20 times. Yeah. Great. Okay, now I switch sides. Same. Front. Whoa, a little balance loss there. Then side. 20 times. And then back 20 times. And then I step on it now with my right foot and go up. 20 times. Okay. This is a great, great exercise as well. It just, you're getting a full body workout when you use the elastic bands. And with these bands, they're great. They're not expensive at all. You can purchase them on a million different websites, I'm sure. And you can do it anywhere. That's the great thing about these elastic bands. All right, everybody. My name is Will Orock. Thanks for coming and watching this video and thanks for supporting us and continuing to try to find ways to better yourself while we're going through this crazy time in the world. Thank you so much and see you soon.